Hi hey guys, this is a video about uh, fixing uh, a Poo Chase Lounge uh, whose uh, material is torn up. Uh, as you can see, my Chase Lounge is sitting better days and uh, the, this is a two sling uh, Chase Lounge. And I uh, thought about buying some, 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 uh, some of this, just replacing and buying a new one, but these things cost about 200 a piece or 140 a piece was the che cheapest one so i figured you know i could fix this myself so this is a video about fixing a poochie's lounge um two sling uh couch. so the first thing i did was to unscrew this part which is pretty self-explanatory uh, unscrew it and uh when you unscrew it it comes off you can see the screws on the side a couple screws on the side so when you unscrew it comes off and uh pretty much looks something like this um you got the sides where the screws go through and then you got the the fold the material going through that uh that pole and it has a little uh plastic stick inside that keeps it in place so this is pretty self-explanatory just make sure to unscrew it and then when you unscrew it it's gonna look something like this so now it's empty um you can see on the sides this is where the screws went and now we're ready to work um one of the things you want to do is measure out the width and then the length of this material um i went ahead and uh measured it out and went to the store and picked out material that's pretty significantly similar to it outdoor fabric gotta be specific about that so i picked out this outdoor fabric and uh it's about the same size as uh as the one maybe just a little over it but uh side by side if you put them side by side they would look something similar in size all right so once you pull it out of the old pole lines this is what you have now so the old ones this is these are the poles where it fits this is the the the, the little slot that this particular material fits into and then inside that material is a little plastic stick that i talked about and this plastic stick helps guide that uh, entire fabric in in this uh, pole so it's the same thing on the other side of the fabric you've got this little plastic stick um, that is on the edge of of this entire piece of material and it guides it through so I'm gonna pull that out this is the old one so these are the things I'll be keeping uh, obviously the poles where the material is gonna be embedded in and then the the two plastic sticks and so this is the old material uh, I am going to place it on top of the new material to get sizing so it's gonna go on top and that will kind of give me an idea of how much I need so old on top of new to measure out uh, how much I will need for my job so as you can tell the width here so i'll mark that out with chalk and on the other side as well and then i'll fold them sew them up uh obviously this won't be on top but you get the idea hi guys so um it's continuation of this so i've laid my pieces as you can see the old one on top of the, the new one and i have marked the length here and over here same thing here and all the four corners so that's where I'm gonna fold them so in this case like say for instance here obviously I'll fold it that way to to be the same length and then I'll I'll sew based off of that same with here I'll sew down the line and then have enough space for that plastic stick that I showed you earlier. All 
Hi guys, as you can see, I have done half of the work. So this is the old piece put against the new piece. So I folded it here and sewed it up. Nothing special, just a regular needle on thread. Uh, same thing in the corner, sewed it up. And uh, they're matching up uh, pretty evenly. And so uh, the next, and you know I'm not I'm not I'm not sewing expert so <laughs> by far this is not expertly done so so now the remaining part is to fold this piece and then put that uh, plastic uh, stick which is in here already there's a plastic stick as you can see it uh, so on to the next one We have our piece sewn up, as you can see, both sides. Now it's just a matter of feeding it into these rails. So it's gonna slide, it's gonna slide through this slot that you see. And obviously we have uh, the, the plastic piece in there already. Uh, so that's my handy sewing work over there. I'm sure you guys can do better work than I can, but this is this is real simple and real basic, nothing professional. So this is me sliding it in, in now, as you can tell. Uh, that is the plastic stick that's been sewn onto uh, the fabric, and now I am just manually sliding this in. It's not that challenging. Uh, it's pretty simple. Make sure you just hold that side of the off the off the off the fabric and slide it into that inset and then start pulling it i'll do the same for the other the other steps so one side is done as you can see i was able to fit it in uh, so now it's a matter of doing the other pull that you see in the picture but this is pretty much done as you can see both sides off of uh, this fabric i fit it into the pole and it looks pretty and ready to be installed back on the Thing. and before you do that just make sure that you put these little plugs back in so i'm gonna put those in and then uh it will be ready to go back on the uh on the uh chase line. all right guys i have gone ahead and uh screwed the the piece that i last showed you back onto the onto the uh the seat and uh, it looks tight and it looks like it's in good place. So this is what it looks like finally after it's done. Um, pretty tight, pretty well set. And this is all done in like a matter of a, um, I have to do the back as well, but eventually I will, but it's not too bad. Saved me 149 bucks and I think it's worth it. Thank you guys for watching.